yeah, so we've uh, just gone for ash line lock, and um, this is pretty much what the middle levels are like. Yeah. Uh, it, it is a drainage system, dikes. so dikes. Yeah, so you've got very high banks on either side, and can't really see anything. Uh, anything. No, apart from but the tops of buildings. Tops of buildings, yeah. But the, from from memory, there are some some gaps where you can see stuff, and uh, I will film in those gaps. So, um, Mark has actually just fell in up to his thighs, trying to jump from the bank to the boat. Yeah, so it wasn't a proper fall in, more like a jump from the bank to the gunnels and miss the gunnels. Yeah, uh, luckily Devin wasn't filmed at the time because I think I did let out a little girly scream and uh, Managed to grab hold of the reeds and only went up. I've got squelchy feet now. Only went up to me top of my thighs. Yeah, so that, that was the offending gap there that I tried to jump. Just lost my footing. Um, I was trying to get the bow line on. But we're moored up now for the night, so the, uh, the water's hot, so I'm now going to strip off and get in the shower and there just behind me is the entrance to fox's marina at march and that's where we hired our first narrowboat from and fell in love with narrowboating yeah so that behind me there is the uh, middle levels commissioners building and at the moment uh, you don't pay a license fee to be on the middle level you obviously need your boat safety certificate and insurance but they are at the moment in consultation to um, try and work out some type of licensing scheme. And we've uh, just stopped for water at March Town Centre uh, facilities, your sluice room for your LSAN, you've got a uh, pump out, a uh, nice clean water point and directly behind there's 48 hour moorings. So these are the visitor moorings at March Town Centre, we've got the ship pub just over there which we've just had a wonderful breakfast in and we're just moored up just through there. I don't know whether you can make this out, but judging by the amount of uh, empty bottles there, we have another narrowboater who enjoys the odd tipple.
so there's my boat behind me just there and we'll be going through this lock that I'm standing on top of there's the lock gates and the other side is the tidal uh, Great River Ouse let's go have a look yeah so when we come through the lock tomorrow um, the tide will be up there and all those sandbanks won't be visible and we'll be doing a sharp u-turn and going that away so this is our tight as lock to date had to uh, get across one side shut one door now swing across the other side uh, so we can get it shut and here we go gates have been opened at the front we're at a diagonal angle just going to pass the camera to Deb Well, all the advice we was given, come out of the lock, give us some beans and uh, go for it. And we got round without hitting the bank the other side, so all good. Well, we're now on the tidal Great Ouse and we actually navigated that sharp bend against the current a lot better than we did when we came out of uh, Teddington Lock and into Brentford. Uh, so we got a similar setup a little bit further ahead only half a mile and then we've got to go across the across the tide it's a falling tide and into Denver sluice lock I'm gonna put the camera down and Deb will carry on filming when we get there right so that's the second lock Denver sluice yeah. lock and it's all been and ben, quite good. ben the lock keeper Ben the lock keeper very nice man Right, now officially on the ooze. Now I'm going to show you an establishment that I've had many a youthful drunken night at, uh, me and Deb in our courting days. Yeah, just over there is the Jennings Arms and uh, the in thing was back in the early 80s, a Thursday night and a Sunday night was a jazz funk disco and that would be heaving with Kingsland Massive and I've actually been on that stage in there, um, had probably one too many, taken all my clothes off and dived in, which I shan't be doing now. Right, I've now got my grandkids, my daughter and son-in-law, come to visit me. What are you doing here? Yeah, so there is the, um, the water at sea level, we're about an hour past high tide, and there is normal water level. So without all this drainage system and sluice gates and lock gates, all that land over there, um, which is Norfolk and Cambridgeshire, we'd all be sort of 10 feet underwater. Yeah, so we're just waiting for Nick and Mandy to um, arrive with my chair. Yeah. Uh, the chair that I showed you in the pictures earlier, that's what Deb bought me for Christmas, a couple of Christmases ago. And just one of the things that we didn't even attempt to bring on with the move. No. Uh, but now, now we're sort of back near home territory. We're going to actually see if we can uh, get it through the door. And I'll show you the, the small gap we've got to try and get it through. 
Yeah, so obviously not a massive door. I don't think the, the cratch cover and that will come off out of the way. But normally when you, you're getting furniture around a door, you'd, you'd wrap it round the doorway. Well, that side, um, we've got all fixed furniture in the way. This side is the chimney for the flue. Now I suppose worst case scenario, we could break the seal on that, remove the, the bit on the roof and uh, take the whole flue out and then have that all properly resealed. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. You yeah, know, if we can get it in, uh, oh, let me give me pointy finger working, yeah, that chair there um, will go. So that will become surplus to requirements. So we'll advertise that on one of the Facebook pages um, but by the time this video actually goes out, um, that chair will be long gone. Well, I don't think they're far away. And when we see their car, we should see it coming over the road, over the top of the sluice bridges. It's car delivery. It's nice around here, isn't it? Can I help you, sir? No. <laughs> what have you brought me, Nick? Yeah. Right, so this is the crazy chair. We're gonna, and whose chair is it? It's Mark's chair. <laughs> We're gonna attempt to uh, get in the boat. Good luck. Fancy buying me such a big chair. <laughs> Mind your head. You go with, with the seat. These will lift off. Right. <laughs> Take her out. Good. <laughs> I was going to say, just bring it in here, put it down there, out the way. <laughs> and I'll take the doors off. <laughs> Like round peg in a square hole. Yeah. Is that what they call it? Or a square peg in a round hole. Like a half inch. Yeah. We know. Just drop it down a bit. So what about what you first said? That coming in first. The bottom yeah. coming in yeah. first. Because they've changed. Just keep an eye on the dog, Steve. You right? Yeah. <laughs> take two? Do you want to take two? <laughs> Did you do it again? <laughs> Look at hey. that! Oh. Result! It's in. It's in. But I quite like it here, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> this is quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, that is. Yeah. 